Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a few scriptures evolving around the fact that there's nobody on this planet earth. It doesn't matter how much money you got, okay? It doesn't matter how 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 deep your bunker goes. There's nobody on there's nobody on this planet earth that's gonna be able to hide from the wrath of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai in these latter days to come. Okay? There's nobody that's going to be able to hide from the God of the Bible, okay, who you people ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. The true name of God, who you people ignorantly call God, okay, is Yahweh, which means He is, He exists, He's omnipotent. Baha Shem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means He delivers. Who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, the true name of the Savior of Israel, is Yahweh Shai. Yah means He, Yahweh Shai means deliverer. Okay, and there's nobody on this planet earth that can hide from their judgment that's gonna befall them from our power. Okay, and then starting with you elites, man. Okay, we're in the time of your visitation where Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai is gonna visit you. And no matter how high you hide, no matter how deep in the earth you go, guess what? Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai is gonna find you. Okay, and starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, and that's like minded men, okay, coming in the same spirit, the house of Dawah Da, okay, the tabernacles of David that are being raised up in these latter days. We're here to tell you that, okay, just like the prophets of old did. You see, matter of fact, let's start there in the book of Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah, the 28th chapter, and the 8th verse, and it reads, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. About what? Of war and evil and of pestilence. You see? And this is the report. Okay? When the prophets come on the scene, ain't good news. Okay, it's not good news. Okay, prophecy. Prof what does prophecy mean? Prophecy means to say before. Okay, to prophesy. And what are we telling you? We're telling you that Yahweh Shai is on his way back, and he's gonna level Babylon the Great, and other areas of the earth are gonna get hit as well. Okay, there's gonna be a thermonuclear fallout via World War Three. Okay, and the bear, which is Russia, along with the other brick nations, and even uh, uh, nations that are in confederate with you. Okay, are gonna turn on you and they're gonna shoot at you according to the book of Jeremiah. All right, and they're not gonna spare no arrows. You see, and those of you at least that wanna hide, you aren't gonna be able to hide. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna be preserved for those chains and feathers of iron. You see that? Let's go to um, let's go to the book of Amos. Let's go to the book of Amos, chapter nine. And verse 1, and it reads, I saw the Lord, and this is Amos, okay? That he's prophesying about, uh, about <laughs> this is this is the, the prophet Amos, which he was in the time of um, uh, Hosea, um, Isaiah, right? Um, Jonah, you see? Now, he's prophesying about the latter time, you see? As far as the, the, uh, <laughs> the return of our Lord. You see? So let's get into this. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door, that the post may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them. I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escape of them shall not be delivered. And this is giving credence that there's no way you can escape the wrath of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? The eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You cannot hide. He discovers even the most secret places. I got to get that. In the book of Sirach. 
the 23rd chapter. In the 19th verse, and it reads, the book of Sirach, the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 23 and verse 19, and it reads, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. You see? So no matter how far you want to try to go and hide, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to seek you out. You see? There's no escaping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Continuing on in Amos 9 and verse 2 and it reads, Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. See that? And hell going into what? Under the earth. Though you dig into the ground, your underground bunkers, guess what? The hand of the Lord shall take you. And who's the hand of the Lord? Yahweh Shai. You see? Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. You see, there's no escape. It doesn't matter where you go, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to be on your ass. Let's get another precept. The book of Psalms, chapter 139. Bear with me, let me get there. The book of Psalms. Chapter 139. Uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 139. And uh, I'll start at verse 7, and it reads... And now this is this is the Psalm of David, right? And it reads, Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I fly from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. You see? So it's, it's not going to matter how high you devils go to hide. You know, your space stations, you know, so on and so forth. Or how low you try to go in the ocean, <laughs> deep into the earth. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to seek you out and find you, man. And again, those of you that are preserved are going to be preserved for captivity. According to the book of, uh, what's that, Psalms 149. Lord willing, we'll get that too. Right? Let's go back to, uh, let's go back to Amos. Amos, chapter 9. Continuing on, right, in verse 3. Salakia, you know what? What's that? What's that? Revelations, the 6th chapter, matter of fact. Going into you um, uh, you kings, you elites hiding, right, with your counsel. Let's get that real quick before we get back into Amos. That's the spirit. I know it's in Revelations, the 6th chapter. Bear with me. Revelations, chapter 6. Con. Uh, I'll start at verse 15 and it reads And the kings of the earth And the great men And the rich men And the chief captains And the mighty men And every bondman And every free man Hid themselves in the dens And in the rocks of the mountain So as you can see these elite are going to have uh, a working system going on in these bunkers, man. You see? They're going to bring their counsel with them. Military, right? Uh, uh, slaves, you know, cooks, you know, which are slaves and, you know, servants, man. Point blank period. They're going to have situations going on in these bunkers. You know, they're going to be living it out. You know, they have the money to build these facilities, man. See, this is how they're going to be preserved uh, uh, so Psalms 149 can be executed, man. You see? Right, continuing on. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Right, hide us from Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Scripture says the earth is going to be rocking to and fro. When they're in these bunkers, for a lack of better words, 
They're gonna be shitting bricks. You see? They're going to be shitting bricks. They're gonna want the rocks to fall on them to just wrap it, you know? Kill us. <laughs> you see, but no. You're gonna be preserved. <clears throat> that says the Bible. The book of Amos. Let's go back to the book of Amos. I lost my spot, Salakia. Alright. The book of Amos, chapter 9, and verse 2 again. Though they dig into hell, right? Your underground bugger. And this also gives credence to there's no hell doctrine. Okay? Because how are you going to dig into hell? This is talking about digging into, a, into the earth. You see? When you hear hell in the scriptures, it's either going to underground or a condition. You ever heard the saying, I'm going through hell? Yeah. You see, you're going through bad times. Right? Continuing on. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them, though they climb up to heaven. Then will I bring them down. There's going to be no way you can go. No way you can hide. Right? Verse 3. And though... They hide themselves in the top of the Carmel. I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent and he shall bite them. Right, what serpent is that? Leviathan. <laughs> Scripture also speaks of newly created uh uh, creatures, man, new create, new created beasts. I believe that's in Wisdom of Solomon, if I'm correct. I, I'm, I'm almost certain it's in Wisdom of Solomon, but you see, they ain't gonna be nowhere to hide. <laughs> Through the Spirit, we believe, hey, Leviathan took out the Titanic. You know, Leviathan's out there, man. It's scriptural. You see, <laughs> and this is what you're gonna be met with when you try to go to the depths of the sea. Hey, and you can only go so deep before you burst. You see? Because the pressure's down under there. See? So there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to hide. And if you... Those of you that are preserved, those are you... Because only the elites are going to be able to... Uh, uh, <laughs> escape that, that, that nuclear destruction, man. For, this, for, the, for, the, for the sake of prophecy to be fulfilled. For you to be the first fruits of captivity. Matter of fact, let's close out there and prove that. That was in what? Psalms 149? We'll close out here if the, if the Spirit allows the book of Psalms the book of Psalms chapter 149 I'm going to just stop from the top and it reads the book of Psalms chapter 149 and verse 1 and it reads praise ye the Lord sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of the saints and this is the new song being, being, being sung okay the, the, the song that you hear coming out of the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone on down and the like-minded men, okay? <laughs> Telling you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and speckled birds to turn to the Holy One of Israel. Repent while you still can. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yahweh Shah is about to crack these clouds. He's about to visit the heathen and, and, and execute judgment upon the wicked, okay? And if you ain't right with your power, you are going to die the death of an infidel. All right, we're telling you these things. We're telling you World War III is coming. There's gonna be a thermonuclear fallout. Prior to that, there's gonna be Jacob's trouble. All hell's gonna be uh, breaking loose. Seditions among men, famine, pestilence. You see, men invading one another. We're telling you these things. You see, so you can't say you didn't know. The blood is off of our hands, man. All right. This gospel, which goes into good news, hey, it ain't good news for everybody. It's only good news for those that turn back to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You see? Those of us that are going to be covered, Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. Hey, and those of us that do have to uh, uh, be, be mortared for this thing, guess what? There's going to be a resilient spirit upon those that are mortared, man. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is going to be resting upon us, man. You see, what's that? Revelations 3 and 10? Those that keep the word of the Lord's patience? He will also keep us from the hour of temptation. You see? He's going to comfort us, man. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Point blank, period. See? Continuing on. And the saints are the Israelites, okay? 
the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That can be proven in what's that? Psalms um, uh, 148, which previous I believe it's Psalms 148. Uh, it could be 147. You're not 148 because I'm right above that. Psalms 148. <laughs> you see, are the saints. Matter of fact, let's just read it. The book of Psalms 148, verse 14, it reads, He also exalted the horn of his people. Okay? The praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Okay? Continuing on in the book of Psalms, chapter 149. In verse 2, and it reads, Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbre and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. You see, in the meek are those that remnant. Okay, the remnant of uh, of Israel, man. That uh, what's that? Galatians six and sixteen. The, the Israel of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. See, those of us that turn back because two thirds ain't me. Two thirds are prouder than the heathen, man. And that's why Zechariah thirteen and eight got to play out, right? Continuing on, for the Lord take a pleasure in His people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand. And that's literally why, Lord, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. You see? To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Captivity. Okay, this is the next step. Okay? For the elite of you nations, man. You are going to be the first fruits of slavery, okay, in the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be on earth, okay? Hey, Geno Jennings lied to you. There ain't no such thing as a heaven where you're going to be, where, where, where you go, where your grandmom's at. No, hey, no, there's a, don't get it twisted. You know, there's, there's the heaven, the fourth dimension where our power's at, but that's not where the kingdom of heaven is going to be is my point. Okay, the kingdom of heaven, what the Lord's prayer says, it, as, uh, 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 in earth as it is in heaven. Okay, the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth is the point I'm making. All right, right? Continuing on. Let the, pray, let the high praises of the most high, let the high praises of the most high be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. Okay, that big payback, James Brown, is going to be executed, man. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. You see, Kahala Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. This is what's going down. Okay. Upon, upon the moments of Yahweh, uh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai cracking these clouds, okay, when Yahweh Shai comes through here, it's over with. It's game over. All these curses are going to fall upon you, heathen. See? <laughs> Israel is going to be back to their righteous estate. Hey, and it's going to be game time, man. You see? And those of us of the of the, of the the uh, 144, hopefully we're part of that pressure's out. Those of us that get to take part in that pressure's number, hey, the, the elite of Israel, right, are going to be able to Hey, do magnificent things, man. You see? <laughs> Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to open up his men to all types of things. You see? Hey, let's read that last verse one more time. To act the book of uh, Psalms chapter 149 and verse 9. To execute upon the judgment. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. You see? So this is what's going down. See, a thousand years of captivity is what you uh, heathen have to look forward to, okay? Esau, Edom is pretty much going to be serving out, uh, um, uh, <laughs> uh, what do they call it? Uh, bear with me. Um, he's going to be pretty much serving out a, a, a death penalty sentence, you see? That's pretty much what he's going to get at the end of this thing according to the scriptures. Matter of fact, let's close out there in the book of Obadiah. 
That's that's the end game, okay? For Esau Edom, the so-called white man, according to the scriptures. Uh, the book of Obadiah. The book of Obadiah, <laughs> 1 and 18, it reads, <clears throat> Salakia. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. The house of Esau, man. Hey, that's the whole lineage. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord hath spoken it. Hey, giving credence uh, to, to uh, no precept, uh, uh, vocab Malone. Hey, the Edomites are on the scene, man. And they're going to be on the scene at the end of this thing. You see? Because there's great future judgment that's going to that's gonna befall them according to biblical prophecy, man, in these latter times. You see? Yeah, but hey, that's the point, Akiyam and Akwaf. You know, Lord willing, you know, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Kwam Yasharala, DTA, a bar, a bar. We going home soon, Akiyam and Akwaf. Stay girded. You still, like the beautiful brother out of Orlando said, stay prayed up. Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai. Barakata Yahawah, Barakata Yahawah Shai, Ka Halalim La Yahawah, Bahashem Yahawah Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Shalawam.